Hello, Otaku Mav here, and in today's video, I'm going over why you should watch Decadence. Decadence is a new anime this season that I've heard no one talk about. I stumbled upon it one night and thought, why not? It's something new. I wasn't expecting anything grand, just something to pass the time, and boy was I surprised that it's weirdly good for something that reminds me of Attack on Titan. Now Decadence is about a girl named Natsumi who kinda looks like an older version of Emma from the Promised Neverland. Natsumi wants to be assigned the job to fight the Gadals after the death of her father, but is assigned to work maintenance on the walking fortress that is Decadence, led by Kaburagi instead. The first episode is very much like that of Attack on Titan. You have people fighting monsters and flying through the air with weird gadgets. Although instead of using zip lines to propel yourself, the people in Decadence have a contraption that lets them use zero gravity. With episode 2, many might be turned off with it going in an unexpected direction that feels completely different than the first episode. Instead of the focus being on fighting the Gadals, you get introduced into a world of cyborgs who create human avatars so that they can adventure out in decadence without the risk of real injury. It certainly adds to the development of the world, having cyborgs blend in with humans, and the fact that the last of humanity lives in a world where monsters roam as they fight for survival. Moving on, Decadence executes its main character beautifully by making Natsumi so full of life, and that's mostly due to the fact that her facial expressions constantly change and vary in an exaggerated manner. Like in the original Teen Titans, how their expressions were exaggerated whether it was in shock, anger, or fear. Yes, it was used for comedy, but it carried the weight of the emotion portrayed, and that's something this anime pulls off well. That said, Kaburagi is a great addition as he brings the seriousness to the duo. He balances the funny and exaggerated reactions of Natsumi and that's a plus because it gives the audience a nice contrast of characters where unlike Natsumi, Kaburagi is much more grounded in terms of personality and his outlook on situations. These two fight for different reasons and with the help of each other, their dreams become a little closer to being a reality. Sure, this is a show with action, but it doesn't rely on the action as its main selling point. I mean, people flying through the air, fighting giant monsters, and living on a mobile colony is a concept that sells itself. But it gives plenty of focus on its storytelling to capture the audience instead. Decadence doesn't have a lot of shocking or sad moments, but when these moments happen, they deliver. Honestly, the show is underrated and deserves to be talked about more. Decadence is more than just an Attack on Titan clone, it's well worth a watch for Titan fans needing an anime to pass the time and for those who aren't fans of the giant human eating Titan anime. Yes, it's a giant monster anime, but it truly makes a name for itself. With Decadence bringing season 1 to a close, I am hopeful for what's in store for the future of the series. So please, give it a chance as this series offers a little something for everyone. That's all for this video, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, and if you're new, subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date with new videos. I'm Otaku Mav, and I'll see you next time.